All right, we are live with another season 15 cup game. Actually, yeah, we did one season 15 cup game already, right? On stream. Which one was that? I'm pretty sure we did one. Um, can't remember. But anyway, this is going to be between... Zarzucket playing Crane and Miyamoto Kai back on Dragon. I think he was on Phoenix last season. Um, can't remember. Let me post the stream link real quick. So we have Secret Void, Secret Void. Let me open the deck list. Um, I heard that Miramoto Kai is only running like eight events. Yeah, eight events. Two Censure, three Let Go, three Policy Debate, and then 25 attachments. So he's going for the dual deck. He has three Iaijutsu Master, three Duelist Training as his splash there. Uh, restricted list card, of course, is the policy debate. Uh, we see a, a Doji Whisper here with two fate. Again, since he doesn't have any assassinates, that's going to be safe. Pass from dragon. Seems fine. So with this dragon deck, the dueling deck, what you really want to do is just like get all the pieces ready before you start actually doing stuff. Um, so... We're probably just going to see a pretty slow turn one here. Oh, interesting. He has the Restoration of Balance still. Even after the errata to that. Um, the Crane deck is on Dragon Splash. We have three Let Go, three Ancient Master. Restricted list card is... Let's see. Guest of Honor. There it is. Uh, finds Shameful Display. Hopefully for Dragon he has an Ancient Master here. Otherwise this is not great. Oh wait, this is Military. Okay, so uh, Restoration does still do something here. He didn't want to actually break the province, so he just went military, but that means he's not breaking. Um, maybe he has a Bonsai? Fine Katana would be fine, because it has two fate. Bonsai feels not really great, because... Like, you're just spending a card to do nothing, basically. Oh, wow. Kazue into the conflict. Uh, so that is going to give him a good Shameful here. But... Not 100% sure on if playing that here is the right call. We see the Dojo. They both bid 1. Uh, nothing happens, okay. I mean, there's... I don't know, that doesn't really do anything, but decided to do it anyway. Oh, uh, Stronghold, right, forgot about that. So, Shameful Display. It's 0 to 4 now. Um, he could favorable ground home if he really wants to, and that way he gets an attack. That might be the plan here. Um, you don't want to give Crane the opportunity to just break this, though. Like, if they play Bonsai, it's kind of a waste of a card, but uh, breaking the Shameful is still a big deal, so I think if he has it, he will play it. A waste of a card in that you could have gone political, I mean, of course. But, yeah, it's just going to be passes there, I guess. Uh, 
Uh, Tattooed Wander. So he's going to attack here. What do we have in the row? Magistrate Station. Um, that would be a good one to hit if he can break. Probably. Although, if the crane can honor the Whisperer, that would mean... Ooh, he did hit Magistrate Station. Yeah, so he really wants to break here. We do see away the crane, which is a little bit unfortunate. Uh, there's the Fine Katana, though. So, yeah, as long as he breaks this, I think he's fine. Um, assassinate here would be, like, extremely painful, though. If Crane can keep this uh, Magistrate Station, that's going to be a pretty big deal. I guess he could let go of the Fine Katana, maybe? What's he going to do? At some point, you want to stand up the Whisperer. Um, I guess the question is, do you do that right away? Or Okay, we do see the Assassinate. And a pass. Yeah, so very unfortunate. Um, so he is going to stand up this Whisperer, and now he'll just get a free break on Shameful, I imagine. I don't think there's anything in the dragon deck that can stop this. Uh, you go... Yeah, it's either Air or Void. Air seems fine since you lost honor from the Assassinate. Void is also fine. None of them are, like, amazing. I guess you could go Fire also to just dishonor the Causeway, but... It doesn't seem amazing either. Yeah, so that's just going to be a free break on Shameful. Um, yeah, so, if, I mean, if I'm being honest, uh, I think playing the Wanderer and attacking was a mistake there. Like, that scenario where you hit Magistrate Station and then he has Way of the Crane and Assassinate is just way too risky. Whereas, if you didn't attack, then just nothing bad happens, right? And now Dragon has spent a ton of fate. He's down to two. And he hasn't really gotten anything done other than reveal this Magistrate Station. By the way, if anyone has just joined recently, we do have the new emote available. That's the old emote. Um, so, Raitsugu, three fate. A couple of duelists here for the dojo. Gonna play the Toshimoko with four. Wow, so the crane deck, I'm looking at the deck list, he's running three above question, three duelist training. So actually a lot of attachments. Uh, the dragon player will be actually happy about having let go here for once against crane. Although there's the gossip, I guess. You could like gossip let go and just play a bunch of attachments. Bids four here. I guess he probably figures he wants as much honor as possible since these are both dual decks. Um, a lot of duels does mean that having honor is going to be pretty helpful. But having cards is good as well. Although he is still up one card here. Uh-oh.
All right, we're back. Um, and it looks like nothing has happened. Yeah, I guess they were... I wonder why they got stuck there for a while. That was weird. Uh, we see a finger of jade on Raitsugu. Find katana on Toshimoko. Okay. Tattooed wanderer on Raitsugu. So yeah, this is the plan uh, with this dragon deck is to just at some point buy a big character and start towering it up with attachments and then get into some duels uh... he only has two fate which is not a lot he does have a favorable ground which is really good um... if he hmm, let's see he has daisho right in the deck yeah, three of those and one way of the dragon. Wow. But, hmm. I mean, he has, uh, there, there are fate on the rings here, so I guess you could, like, play a dice show and then attack and then play a duelist training. Um, you're probably not going to get a great policy debate with two political, I guess four political after box, so if it's Toshimoko, then maybe. Way the crane on Toshimoko, though. Not going to wait for the duel. Um, that is something that makes this stronghold kind of awkward, is that you can only use it after a duel resolves, where you really want the honor before the duel to get the extra stats. Um, you can do some, some funny things like uh, the Kikita Dojo duel with the Whisper, which actually did nothing just to get the box to honor it. Um, but otherwise you usually want the honor beforehand if possible. So he's attacking Magistrate Station, he's coverting the Toshimoko, uh, going void here. There is the favorable ground, the Toshimoko can move in. And he does, so it's going to be 3 to 8. Uh, maybe you just move home now? Like, you just do this attack to bait the Toshimoko in and then you move home, but... Okay, yeah, he is going to do that. The only problem is that the Magistrate Station is just going to stand him back up. And that makes this not great, because you're also using up your military attack here. I guess Causeway is uh, a decent amount of political skill. Same as Raitsugu, actually, if you use the stronghold on him. But yeah, so Crane is going to attack now. Um, it looks like he did not stand Toshimoko. I'm going to wait on that. Oh, okay. So he's going to go water here and try to stand Toshimoko with the water ring. And that will... That will allow him to be in two more conflicts. Um, it looks like this might be a military poke. Yeah, okay. Uh, finds upholding authority. So this seems good. Uh, by poking military, you're not in danger of breaking upholding authority or restoration, which are two of the three face-down provinces. Um, unless your opponent plays a katana, but can't really do much about that. And if he if he just doesn't defend this, then you get the free water ring, and then Toshimoko can defend and then attack again. Like, if he defends, you just don't really care about not getting the ring effect, but it's an extra bonus if he doesn't. So, seems good. Plus it out of fate. Raitsugu going to defend, maybe?
we see an EI Jutsu Master here. So probably going to duel the Whisperer, right? And take that fade off. That's one less honored character. That'll help turn off Voice of Honor. Seems fine. Plus with the Master now you can steal an honor, which is pretty good. If he plays a Daisho, he can steal two honor. Ooh, we see a Bonsai on the Whisperer though, so it will not be uh, that easy to duel now. Stronghold. So it's three, four, five, six to five. Yeah, no favor here, so just the character's stats. So I wonder if you duel now. I feel like it's still good. Um, like if he bids one, then you just take his fate. Like as dragon, you just bid one, right? If he bids one, you take his fate. If he bids two, you go up to two and take his fate. Uh, if he bids higher than two, then you go down to zero and then take a bunch of honor. And like Raytugu loses a fate, but okay, yeah, so we do see the duel. See what the bids are here. I'm pretty sure Dragon should just bid one. But I might be wrong. I'm not sure what Crane will bid. Yeah, so they both bid one. So you could drop to zero here, but yeah, you don't want to do that. You just want to take the fate. So the Whisperer will die now. At the end of the turn. Yeah, like I think that's a good duel because the if you bid one, the outcomes are either you take the fate or you take at minimum three honor, which is pretty significant. So seems good. So he is going to win that on defense. We have the Kazue to attack political now, but Toshimoko restands. Um, I mean, if you do attack, it's going to be fire. That will let him get the earth ring, though. Okay, he is going to go fire. Wants to keep that voice of honor turned off next turn, if possible. Yeah, like, attacking Magistrate Station is pretty free as well. Um, if he defends, which he does, then he's winning, but... At least you force the defense, right? Uh, we see the dojo, though. Forgot about that. That's going to bow Causeway. So no chance of him winning now, but that's okay. He's just going to pass. And Crane will now have to have a conflict character. He does have a political rival. But that means he can only put one fate on it. Usually when you play rival, you want to be able to put at least two fate on it since that is um, a pretty expensive character. Let's see what he finds here. What are the last two provinces actually? It's Resto and Before the Throne. Wow. He is going to find Resto. Um, and that is actually going to do something here. Yeah, he's going to play out some cards from his hand so he doesn't have to discard. Uh, Resto is better than upholding authority because you get to choose what to discard, and you can do this thing where you just play out cards and then you have to discard less. So this should be fine for Crane.
six cards in hand, so currently he's discarding two. Oh, hey, we got a host from He Show Gaming. Thank you for the host. I appreciate that. Hey, Arash, and hey, Tristram Wolf. Uh, game is currently looking good for Crane, I would say. He has a face-up magistrate station um, and has already broken one of the dragon provinces, about to be two. Uh, dragon has a large Raitsugu, but not sure if that'll be enough. Like, this Toshimoko is pretty big. We have a new emote, by the way, if you haven't noticed. So, yeah, he will have to discard two cards. Gossip and admit defeat, okay. Um, so yeah, Gossip is any card, not just events. Ooh, discards policy debate at random, seems good. What's, what's this activate drops button? Um, hold on. I might still have an extension going for Eternal. Is that enabled right now? I'm not a hundred percent sure how that works. You should be able to like dis okay. Alright, I deactivated it, so it should be gone now, hopefully. We see Uji. Uh, he only has seven fate, so maybe he'll just play the challenger here. Like, Uji doesn't even have any good targets, really. Because if you buy him, you're spending all your fate, so... Probably just the challenger. You could also take passing fate, I guess. But challenger as first player is good, yeah, so he's going to play that. Uh, Doom Shugenja from Dragon, that means Crane does get the Passing Fate. Is he going to play something else? Maybe the Investigator? The problem with Investigator is that he can just attack military with the Doji Challenger and pull it in. Um, so that doesn't seem like the best option Uh, you could play Hitomi, you could play Shunsen, Let's see you have 9 fate, Shunsen actually seems like it might be the best option here, not 100% sure. He's thinking about it. Yeah, he is going to play the Shunsen. Um, again, I think that is the best option here because, like, you don't really want to play the Investigator because he just goes military and pulls it. Um, and then Hitomi is kind of expensive, and you already have a big duelist on the board. Um... So I think the only character you really want to play is Shunsen. 
and he seems pretty decent right now. If you can somehow manage to get two rings, you could potentially pull a dice show with him. I'm wondering what Crane's first attack is going to be. Um, you could, I'm thinking like maybe you could go water with Challenger and then the Doom Chugensha defends and then you pull somebody else. Political's fine. Military is also fine. And then yeah, you go up before the throne. Oh wow, he's going for a big military, actually. If you're sending Toshimoko, I'm not sure uh, the water ring is going to be the best. Although, I guess you want to take it off the table so that he can't watering your political rival. But you could just stand Toshimoko and defend, right? Which you would probably want to do anyway so that your magistrate station doesn't break. So yeah, I don't know. If you defend with Raitsugu here, that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, I think he can actually just pull in the Kazue and then bow the Doom Chugendra, right? Uh, we see an instant policy debate though against the doji challenger so they're actually tied on skill here both players bid five uh, miramoto kai is going to raise his bid by one so he will win let's see what's in the hand assassinate bonsai court games another one two let goes noble sack rival two voice of honor and a way of the crane wow uh that's a pretty good hand Let's see. So what do you take here? He can't play the political rival this turn because he doesn't have enough fate, so I imagine that's not going to be the pick. Hello, Serendelli. I don't think I've seen you in the chat before, but I noticed that you are a subscriber, so thank you. Hopefully I didn't see you at some point and just forget about it. Um, 
Yeah, so he's still thinking this is a pretty tough choice. <laughs> Disguised Lion Samurai? Alright, makes sense. Um, I mean, the two let goes is definitely annoying, but you can't discard both of them. Uh, you don't care about the Voice of Honors that much. I mean, he has a Way of the Crane, so I'm actually surprised he didn't play Way of the Crane on the Challenger before the conflict to turn the Voice of Honors on. Oh, Ikoma Quant on the Discord. All right. Yeah, I know you. I casted one of your games at some point. I guess that was... I think that was Season 14... Might have been a while ago. The one against Grody, yeah. Okay, so... Discards, let go, yeah, that makes sense. Um, you definitely want to get those let goes out since this uh, dragon deck is all about attachments. But... Ooh, actually... I didn't even think of that. Uh, the Crane Stronghold gets used. So you kind of just gave him a free honor, which is unfortunate. But really wanted to get that policy debate. Um, I still think playing the, way, the playing the way of the Crane before the conflict was the right move there. Because that way... Like, that way he just can't even policy debate you, unless he buffs himself first, and then you can just cancel it. And then you don't lose that let go. I don't know. Uh, this is still pretty rough for the dragon, though. Like, he's breaking before the throne here. And these two characters are going to bow, and then he water rings the Doom Chugenja, and all Dragon has is this guy, who is only a 1-2. And then Crane still has the political rival for his political attack, and he can restand Toshimoko. Like, yeah, this is pretty bad for Dragon. Probably won't even get to use this ability, since he has to actually claim rings. What could Dragon have here? His stronghold is Pilgrimage, so that's 7 strength. That's 6 political. You probably don't even defend with the Toshimoko though if he attacks, do you? You just go for the stronghold break? Like if you attack the stronghold with both of these characters that's 11 so Dragon would need to come up with 4 political uh, he could technically... oh! Dragon has political rivals, I didn't notice that two of them in fact I guess that would do it. Or he could have like an ancient master and two fans, I guess. Okay, he's gonna go fire here, that seems fine. Uh, you either force the Toshimoko to defend or you get to dishonor him, which also turns off the uh, Voice of Honor for what that's worth, which is probably not a lot, but... Yeah, so going... oh, going for the Earth Ring, actually, okay. Yeah, with, with the court games in hand, I guess if you go fire, then he just court games anyway. 
Uh, Earth Rain gives you the chance to hit Political Rival if you don't have it, or another fan if that's what you need. He does get a Seeker of Void Fate, actually, so if he does have the Political Rival, he can put two Fate on it. And that would be pretty strong. Um, and then if he has some fans as well. Like, the game is not over yet. And you can't duel Political Rival in military. Yeah, so I think that's exactly what he needs to have. He needs to have the uh, political rival and then one or two fans and then hope that Crane doesn't have enough. Well, he knows his hand, actually, so he should be able to just math that. Yeah, like if you play a... Um, if you play one of your one-drops, it just gets assassinated anyway, so... I think he is going the Earth Ring here to try to dig for the political rival. Discards Crane's political rival. That's a pretty good discard, I would say. And we'll see if he has it. He's seen half his deck, and there are two in the deck. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much the game right now, is did he draw the political rival or not? If he did, then he gets to keep playing. And if he did not, then that's going to be it. I guess you could potentially like hawk tattoo right Sugu in and then duel and then do some kind of duel shenanigans, but I feel like it's unlikely that we'll get anywhere. You could like hawk tattoo, double let go. Um then he's six military and you're at six after you box and then you play like what do you play you play two katanas and a dice show and a duelist training and then you duelist training him that could technically work if he has everything he needs well uh not not two not two katanas and a dice show rather two katanas or a dice show I imagine he does not have the political rival, or I think he would just instantly drop that here. Hawk Tattoo on Kazue. Oh, is he playing around Admit Defeat? There's only one Admit Defeat in the deck, though, and we've already seen it. Why did he Hawk Tattoo? Oh, court games, sure. Okay. Yeah, because he had the court games noble sack. He could have court games the rival and then noble sack with the challenger. All right. So that actually is the right play. I forgot that that was a possibility here. But Miramoto Kai remembered. He's spent all his fate now. Obviously he doesn't... Oh, well he doesn't even have court games in the deck. I forgot. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that's it for this turn. Like, we know Dragon's Hand. I don't think there's anything else he can play. Yeah, no, that's it. Fortunately for Kai, you can't cancel the Hawk Tattoo. 
Uh, uses Shunsen. Can you do that? Oh, he had a ring. Oh, right. He got the Earth Ring. I forgot about that. I thought he didn't have any rings. I was like, I don't think you can do that. Uh, going to find another master. Okay. I was thinking maybe he would just go for the fan on the rival, but I guess master is probably better. You're not winning this conflict anyway. Uh, pilgrimage cancels the ring effect as well. That's always nice. Yeah, there was there was like a period of time where we weren't seeing this, the pilgrimage as the stronghold province. Um, some people tried it early on in crab. I remember I tried it a couple times, and it was pretty good because the crab stronghold is plus three, so you have an eight strength stronghold. And, like, once they get to the stronghold, they're just going to be attacking that. So if it's pilgrimage, it means they basically don't get any more ring effects for the rest of the game. Because if they break it, then the game's over. So, no more ring effects is pretty good, turns out. Um... The only problem with that generally is that if you're like a keeper role, that means you have to put a water, a water province in your row, which is not good. You'd rather just have the pilgrimage in the row. But yeah, you can kind of get away with it uh, with seeker rolls. We see Miramoto Dojo. Yoshi for Crane. So do you play Yoshi or do you play Uji? We know he has Way of the Crane in hand. Okay, he goes for the Uji. Um, that'll, that will let him buy the Doji Whisper for free. Seems good. Unicorn often runs a water province in the row. Well, yeah, that's true, but that's because, you know, unicorn. If you if if your clan has it Yeah, I mean, obviously you're, you know, joking. Um and you you know all of this already, but the reason water provinces are bad in the row is because uh there aren't any good water provinces and you want your row to have good provinces in it. Um, but there are some clan specific provinces like the unicorn one which is water that might be better than the default ones. Uh, crab has what's it called? Flooded wastes which I mean some people kind of like it I guess. I don't know. I don't think anyone like the the guy who was playing crab who won Athens um apparently had flooded waste under the stronghold which is pretty wild but yeah i think for the most part nobody really plays that card uh dragon just going to pass grab that passing fate You'd really like to be able to break the Magistrate Station on your attack here. We'll see if he can actually do that. Definitely going to be difficult. Uh, flooded under stronghold is pretty good for the first attack, then it's really bad. I mean, yeah, that's that's just flooded waste in general, right? Um, it's kind of the whole point of it. That's actually most water provinces in general. Like, most of the water provinces are on flip effects, right? Flooded waste, uh, rally to the cause, and elemental fury. 
that's a water province, right? I haven't seen that card in so long. Um, they're all on flip effects, so after the first time you attack them, they're just blank. Seen a few keeper crabs, put it on the row too. Yeah, definitely some people have tried putting it in the row. Um, I know Mosey kind of liked it for a while, but I think he eventually stopped playing it. I don't know, I've I've never really had any success with it myself, but some people do like it. Cloud the Mind on Uji. Okay, we know he has a let go in hand, right? Yeah, because he had two and only discarded one. But yeah, I guess the idea, I think he was running charge, probably? Can't quite remember. So, I think the idea with his deck was that he was trying to be a little bit more aggressive. So his idea was like, okay, if they attack your stronghold, I'm just going to bow everybody. And then, hopefully that'll give me enough time to break your stronghold. That's my guess. Uh, which makes sense. And it can probably catch some people off guard if they go for like an all-in stronghold attack, but against a Keeper Clan, I guess you would expect it to be like Revels or River of Gold. So you could catch people off guard, but definitely in open lists you wouldn't. So he's played another political rival at home. Uh, this suggests that he's going to attack political here and then covert like the challenger and the Toshimoko and try to go for that break on magistrate station. He'll need another cloud for Uji though because he can just let go of this cloud and then way of the crane and then play the whisper. Let's see, what ring are you going to go for? Fire actually doesn't seem that great with the Kikita Dojo on the table. I just always assume the Krebs Stronghold is flooded wastes until I see water, but play, uh, what is it, Shiroshinjo Unicorn? So I'm generally seeing every province by the end of turn two at the latest. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, like, I don't know if I would necessarily assume that it's flooded waste, but it never hurts to just poke the stronghold and see what it is, if you haven't already. As a crab player, I'm used to having the wayfinders also, so... There's always that. Man, Mosey just posted some deck list earlier today that was pretty crazy. It had like... It was a crab deck that had uh, Shinjo Ambusher instead of Talisman. And then it was like the blue unicorn. Uh, yeah, I guess. What else was it? There was some other weird... Oh, he cut the fans. I guess that's not that weird. It's a little weird. Yeah, so he is going for the dov double covert attack here. But yeah, let go away. The crane will do it if he doesn't have another cloud. You could just defend, I guess. 
That way you win even if he does have the cloud. Unless he has a way to get more political skill, I guess. It would not be surprising, I guess, if Dragon has a fan here. Wow, he only has four cards in his discard pile. That's kind of funny. So yeah, defending might not be terrible. No, it looks like he chooses not to defend. Like, on the other hand... Um, Oh, he decided to go Void. Interesting. On the other hand, if you just don't defend here, you have like a pretty strong attack on the Stronghold, right? Uh, we see Ancient Master. He's going to Court Games that, I guess. Yep, there's the ornate fan. Hey, Alpha Squid, how's it going? Yep. Got the new emotes. I think, oh, there it is. It's uh, off the side of the screen. Um... Wow, so he's going to get the break there. I'm surprised he didn't play the let go. I guess he's saving it for a dice show. That's my best guess here. Uh, Crane has 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 15, 21, 22. Uh, after way of the Crane, it's 23. That's a lot. Dragon has, see, a fine katana, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 after his stronghold. Uh, that's 25 for Crane now. So he's winning by 11. Really need to grind out some matches against Crane. Always seem to hit Magistrate Station right away. And hitting Magistrate seems auto-lose right now. Yeah, I mean, I feel like it always was. If you hit Magistrate Station on turn 1, you're just going to lose, right? Missed the first... I, uh, I'm guessing that's supposed to be the first hour. Is Uji winning? Yeah, it looks like Uji is winning. But yeah, that's pretty much what happened this game was on turn one, the dragon attacked and hit Magistrate Station. Yeah, the first hour. And Crane has just been in a really strong position ever since. I was saying on turn one, like, he played a Tattooed Wanderer and attacked Magistrate Station. And that uh, let Crane honor his Whisper and stand it up to get a free break on Shameful. And then he just assassinated the Tattooed Wanderer. So it was like exactly all the cards you needed. And I was saying, like, if you're the Dragon player, I think you should just not attack. Because if you do attack and that exact sequence happens, then you just probably lose the game. But if you don't attack, then, like, nothing bad happens, right? So that was a little bit odd. Uh, we do see the all-in at Pilgrimage. He has 26. Did I miscount? 10, 15, 17, 18, 19, 20. Twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six. Yeah, I think I might have been off by one somehow. I don't know. Cause I said 
did I say 25? I, I don't remember anymore. But anyway, 26 to... Um, I, I guess leaving this guy home is fine, like... I kind of doubt it's going to come down to just a one skill difference, and if it does, then you just lose the game, oh well. But if it doesn't, and you actually manage to prevent the break here, uh, having this free conflict is going to be really nice. So yeah, Dragon is going to need some serious cards. Let's see, the Red Tsugu is at 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9. Yeah, I believe I believe 9 is correct. Yeah. Um, and then Toshimoko at 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uji at 10. So he has two big 10s here. I should do something where I like write on the screen. Hold on. Actually, don't I have a program that does that? Let me see if this works. How do you do this? Maybe I should figure out how to use this actually because writing on the screen might be cool. Yeah, check that out. So he has two tens and a five. Oh, he bonsaied. Okay, so these are twelves now. How do I erase? These are twelves. And then this is a nine. Shunsen going to search. Finds a duelist training. All right. So he can duelist training the challenger here. That'll bring it down to 25 on the attack. So winning by 12. I mean, that's not nearly enough, right? I guess you can... Hold on. 9, 10, 11... If he can win two, two duels versus Uji, he can kill Uji. Yeah, I mean, that's true, but how's he going to do that? He needs, like, a dice show and then another attachment. And Crane is holding a let go here. Um, earlier on, it was a while back, but yeah, the policy debate, we saw two let goes in his hand and uh, only one in the discard, so he does have a let go. There's no bonsai in the dragon deck. He only has eight events. It's two censure, three policy debate, three let go. Has he played any let goes yet? Uh, well, he can put Whisper in if he discards the cloud. Yeah, no, he hasn't played any let goes, so he could like let go the katana That's 10. If he let goes the katana and plays... Daisho doesn't actually bring him up any skill, so he probably wouldn't play that. Yeah, I don't know. It's going to be tough. Definitely looks like... Oh, wait. He's initiated a duel. Right, Sugu duels the Doji Challenger. Wait, shouldn't he have done the dojo? Oh, it doesn't matter, does it? Discards. Oh, that was duelist training. Okay. I thought he was using Raitsugu's duel. Yeah, Daisho does still matter for duel totals. That's true. But if you play it here, he just let goes it. So you'd rather just keep the katana. Um, another master. So he's at 10 now. 
Can I like, no, I can't. 10. So he can go up to 12 if he bids, like he can, if they both bid five, he ties. And the other problem is he can only use the masters one time each. So he really needs to get ahead of this Uji somehow. If he does have the let go, he could potentially kill it here. But we know he has a voice of honor, right? He played... Did he play one? No, he didn't play any. Put Whisper in with one fate to trick right Sugar into dueling it and then honor it. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, again, he would have to let go of the Cloud of the Mind here, and I think he definitely wants to save that. But yeah, that is a big brain play. Yeah, so that's the problem right now, right? Um, is that Crane has at least two Voice of Honor in hand, and you have no way to turn that off. Uh, Hawk Tattoo moves in Shunsen. Would have rather just seen him defend with that and uh, put the Hawk Dead 2 on Raitsugu, if anything, to give him the extra skill. Yeah, I mean, basically, he needs to kill the Uji now. That's his only way to not lose, I think. Should have dropped the fate on Challenger. Plays Daisho on Shunsen. Still breaking, so you don't even let go here. Yeah, it looks like that is going to be the game. Yep, we see the GG. So that is going to be it. Yeah, GG's there. Congratulations to Crane taking that game over Dragon. That was um, a pretty intense game for the last few turns. They were really thinking a lot about the decisions there. But <laughs> yeah, I think it, it really all just came back to that turn one magistrate station. Yeah, that's that's the risk he took for sure. Like, I mean, it was maybe worth taking that risk, but I don't know. It's tough. Had a let go, two clouds, and a dice show. Two dice shows. Ancient Master, Censure, Censure. Mm, yeah, so pretty dead hand there. That's unfortunate. See what Crane had. Let go, voice. We knew those. Yeah, no problem, Lambert Shaspi. Good to see you. Uh, Bonsai, assassinate. That's it. So not a whole lot left there, but the voice of honor for the let go and having the let go for an attachment, definitely really big. Yeah, like, I, I just don't really know if it was worth taking the risk on turn one there. Um, because I guess it's not particularly likely that that sequence happens, where you, you hit Magistrate, he has Way of the Crane, he has Assassinate. Like, all of those things need to happen, basically. Uh, which they did, but I guess it's not too likely. I feel like it's likely enough, though, that I... Definitely would have thought twice about taking that risk. Needed to draw Duelist Training, yeah. Drawing one of those earlier probably would have been good. Yeah, I mean, I think Kai... Um, I didn't notice any like huge mistakes. I think he played it pretty well given, given the circumstances. But yeah, the turn one just put him really far behind.
All right, well, that's going to do it. So Zarzucket will move on to the round of 32, where he will play against either a dragon or a unicorn. So it could be dragon again, or could be the unicorn. Assuming that game hasn't happened already. But yeah, that's going to do it here. So thanks everybody for watching, and I will see you guys next time.